What do you do if you're a weak 18-year-old virgin? You tame beautiful girls to help you become the strongest virgin there is. Follow the adventure of this male protagonist as he becomes the strongest beast tamer in all the lands by taming beauties from different races. Hey there, anime lovers. Welcome to the anime of life. Today, I shall recap episode six of this cool harem fantasy anime called Beast Tamer. We're also happy to announce we've reached 100 subscribers. Please continue to support the channel. We appreciate it so much. The story begins with Rain defeating the hero party, so the heroes can only admit defeat. They kneel on the ground like losers to apologize, and Rain lets go of his hatred for them. After that, Rain is about to get down to business. As the problem of the demon invasion is very serious, Rain accepts the request of the hero Arayos, going to the forest to get the Shield of Truth for fighting against the Demon King. The forest is too dark for them to find the way. If Rain doesn't claim that there were still innocent animals living here, Tanya would have set fire to the entire forest. Rain and his two companions start to talk about their plans to explore the forest. This treasure hunt may be very dangerous, so Rain keeps cautious asking the two partners to be on guard while he is ready to transfer his soul to a bird as before, finding a way forward through the high altitude vision. During Rain's absence, Tanya and Khan Ade vigilantly guard their master's body. After a while, Rain and the nearby birds finish their wayfinding, and his soul returns to his body to lead the way. Soon, Rain discovers that something is wrong. He has confirmed the route with the birds before, but they are now lost. The anomaly arouses Tanya's suspicion, so she uses magic to detect mana fluctuations in the forest. Through Tanya's reconnaissance, they find the problem. There is a large tree being cast illusionary magic, surrounded by magic that affects their vision. That's why they keep getting lost. There is also an expansive magical field on the tree, and the easiest way to remove the magic is to destroy the tree. Just as Kanade is about to break the tree with a punch, a sound suddenly comes from inside the tree. A fairy girl, Sora, appears. The fairies, as one of the strongest races like the cat and the dragon, are better at magic than the dragon. 200 years ago, the fairies had a conflict with humans who and finally hid in a remote place to live in seclusion while having a strong destroyed the forest, hatred for humans for hundreds of years. This is confirmed in the ensuing conversation between Sora and Rain. She does not listen to any explanation from Rain, directly posing as she prepares to attack. Frightened away, Rain and his comrades have to discuss a way to move on. The fairy is so hostile to humans that Tanya believes a peaceful solution is impossible, and the best way is to make Khan Ade break the tree while Sora is distracted. But Rain still decides to have a clear conversation with Sora, which makes Khan Ade and Tanya happy because they join Drain's team for his kindness. At the important moment of negotiation, Sora still tries to attack while Rain stays calm and just asks Sora not to attack his comrades. Rain wants to dispel the suspicions of the fairy with his sincerity, which he learned when he just became a tamer. Sora launches the first round of attack, but the kind fairy avoids all of Rain's vital pots, only grazing Rain's face. Rain's bravery and sincerity subvert Sora's perception of humans, but the centuries-old hatred between fairies and humans still keeps Sora wary. When she launches the second round of attacks, Tanya and Khan Ade block in front of Rain. Tanya and Khan Ade each state what they know about Rain, trying to prove Rain is a good guy and that they have no intention of harming the fairies. It is the first time Sora encounters the cat and the dragon speaking for a human and even resisting the damage with their bodies to protect him. Sora hesitates for a while and finally decides to listen to Rain's intentions. After listening to Rain's explanation, Sora finally realizes Rain and his comrades entered the forest to take the Shield of Truth against the Demon King. Sora reveals she casts illusionary magic to protect the fairy's territory, and that she cannot let Rain go further into the forest. But the good news is that the Shield of Truth has always been kept by the fairies. Sora then casts Teleportity and Magic to get the Shield of Truth and gives it to Rain. The fairies and the previous hero have an agreement that when the human race needs to deal with the Demon King, the fairies must hand over the shield. Rain notices that Sora seems to mention the demon with anger and hatred, so instead of leaving directly after completing the task, he gently asks Sora what troubles she has. Sora keeps her mouth shut because she doesn't want to get Rain in danger. It isn't until Khan Ade tells Sora that their team is strong enough that Sora summons up the courage to speak out about her troubles. She has a twin sister, Luna, and both of them maintain the barrier to the fairies' realm. 
because of each other's company. This dull job becomes much more interesting. But one day, when they went out to run errands, they met the monster Shadow Knight. To protect Sora, Luna was caught by the monster. Rain immediately analyzes the reason for Sora's defeat. The Shadow Knight is only a C-rank monster, but his characteristic is magical immunity. That is to say, he can naturally restrain the fairies who are good at magic. The Shadow Knight threatened Sora to lower the barrier if she wanted to save Luna, but Sora was unwilling to put her compatriots in danger. So she fled back to the fairies' territory to ask the Elder for help. Unfortunately, the Elder of Fairies was too cautious and refused to send reinforcements to save Luna until the end. Rain wipes the tears from Sora's face and promises to get Luna out. At this moment, Sora throws herself into Rain's arms and cries. And that concludes Episode 6 of The Beast Tamer. Rain has tamed another beautiful partner into his party. Sora belongs to one of the strongest races in the anime, which is the fairy race. If she teams up with them, they will not only have physical and magical attacks, but also cast a variety of auxiliary magic. With such powerful companions, Rain is set to become the strongest tamer in all the lands. He started off as a weak beast tamer, but it is about time that he becomes an S-rank hero who conquers the world and protects the weak. So stay tuned for the next episode of Beast Tamer. Watch some of our other videos like Camoral Guild, a fun, light-hearted harem anime that you watch for the plot where a 20-year-old virgin gains five beautiful wives in a world plagued with horny monsters. You'll love it. Links are in the description below if you want to watch some of them. Also, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. We just reached 100 subscribers, and we're happy with all your support. Share this with your friends. Don't forget to support us on Patreon so we can continue to create more content like this and beyond. Express your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of this episode? With that, anime lovers, see you later.